guys, I am filming another collab video. I am so excited. This one, I feel like I can take credit for this idea. <laughs> we'll see what Emily says in the comments. But basically, Emily here on YouTube, Emily Hanhan, if you guys don't know her, she is delightful and so, so sweet. I met her in New York, but we talk on Instagram all the time. She's so sweet. And we had talked about collabing and I was like, oh, I'm so bad at coming up with ideas for collabs. I was just like, oh, it's such a bummer that we didn't film in New York when we were there and like, we should have planned better and blah, 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 blah. So then I was like, oh, it would be so funny if we could swap makeup bags because, you know, that was like a trend for a while where people would swap makeup bags and of course, if you don't know who Emily is, she's a lot lighter than me, so I thought it'd be kind of funny. Um, but since we couldn't quite do that, since she lives in New York and I live in not New York, the opposite of New York, think of the most uncool place in the world to live in and then add 500 to it and then you'd arrive at Fargo. Just kidding, but we're in the thick of winter, so I'm a little bitter right now. <laughs> anyway, so we couldn't swap makeup bags, so what we decided to do was get on the phone, get on good old FaceTime, and I had her going through my collection and I was going through her collection, and we basically picked out like stuff that I would use that I have in my collection, and she picked out stuff that she would use that I have in my collection. So it's kind of like we're swapping makeup, but not really, because nothing was exchanged, but she has all of these items that I'm gonna be using to get ready today, so I'm very excited. I have never played with this palette on my channel before, so strap in guys, it's gonna be a great video. Also remember to go ahead and check out Emily's video. You can do that right now, just go watch her video. She is such a darling and she loves to play with color and she's just like a generally colorful person. Like the first time I met her, she was wearing like a rainbow dress. And so it's just like, you can just tell like she loves color, you know what I mean? So anyway, enough about Emily. <laughs> I'm just kidding, Emily, I love you. Um, but let's get into this eye look. So if you guys haven't been on my channel before, I am a creature of habit and I always do my eyes first. So we didn't talk about eye primer, so I'm just gonna use the P. Louise base because that's my new favorite. And just so you guys know, I... <laughs> Didn't wear makeup to work today, so this is literally what I look like getting home from work. My wonderful husband is out of town, and so it's just, you know, the perfect time. I have rice cooking upstairs, because I'm gonna have rice for dinner, because I'm Asian and I love rice. That's like my staple in life, and I'm so glad that I met a man that also loves Indian food, because Rel's from South Africa and he grew up eating Indian food and I'm like, thank you Jesus. Like, I don't know if I've told this story before but him and I met online and I'm such a genius human being that when I was online dating, my name on my profile was Sushi Lover something, 88 or something, um, because I figured that no guy that didn't like sushi would message me. Right? I mean, like, I picked it as my name, so if you couldn't put that together, probably not the brightest, brightest bulb on the tree, if you know what I mean. So, yeah, just a little dating tip for you guys, if you're ever online dating. Come up with a name like that, that really, like, tells people who you are, so you don't have to, like, waste your time, you know, dealing with, like, losers that don't eat sushi, because... I mean, not that you're a loser if you don't like sushi, but I can't be married to somebody that can't eat sushi. Like, I should have probably not drank a Coke before I started filming, because apparently I'm super hyper and I just wanna tell you guys everything I'm thinking, so. Saddle up for that. I'm trying to find clean brushes, so I'm stalling, but. Did anyone guess yet what palette Emily picked for me? You probably didn't, but here it is. I'm so excited to use this. I have been holding on to this palette because I'm like, oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna film a look with it. I'm gonna film a look with it. I did one with the Electro Turquoise. Oh my God. 
that palette is bomb and I haven't used this one yet I don't think I think I swatched it but I haven't used it on my channel yet to create a look so when Emily was showing me her makeup I was like "Ooh, I do have that palette Emily and I haven't used it yet Emily maybe you should pick that one for me Emily <laughs> I was like you know giving her a little nudge in the right direction and then um she did get the clean out um stained glass collection so I told her I'd pick um, some JD Glow singles too, which I have in this palette, but I honestly feel like I can do a pretty bomb eye look with this palette. I'm literally thinking I just want to use this bright orange is really like speaking to me today. And then this orange, which is like a little bit darker, I want to use that as a deepening up shade. And then I'm just going to go in with a hot pink um, lid. I feel like that's the look I'm going for. So, you know, let's just stop talking and start blending is what I say. <laughs> um, and I haven't used the Kaleidos formula with the P. Louise base yet, so I'm definitely curious to see how that does. Because so far, everything I've tried with this base has just been, like, amazing. Um, so it'll be interesting to see how things go here. So I'm just using a big fluffy blender pro from Sonia G and I'm just placing that in my crease. It's blending in really nicely. I have the P. Louise white base and I still haven't used it. I don't know. I'm kind of terrified <laughs> to put like white on my lids. It's gonna look like white out. Oh my goodness. But might be like really pretty for neon colors like this but I, can, I feel like I can almost make this look wearable um, by using some of these shades together. This is building up so nicely. Okay, I like how that turned out. Now I'm going to go in with the Sonia G Worker Pro, which is like a flat brush, but it's also really good at blending. Um, and I'm going to go into that darker coral shade and kind of place that in the outer corner to deepen up my eye look. Okay, so I just pulled it in about halfway into the crease just to give that orange pop. And I'm also continuing to blend. I like that. I need to find like the perfect brow bone shade. I feel like I don't have anything set up yet. Okay, I think I'm going to grab this neutrally color. Uh, just going to do a little mixy mixing because I was worried that orange was kind of traveling a little bit and I was getting a little nervous. So I'm just going to pat that on where my brow bone is. That works perfectly. Okay. My outer eye wrinkle on this side has been just giving me problems, which is really irritating. Like, why? Why are you doing this to me, sir? Why? <laughs> Okay, I'm going to go in a little more with that dark coral shade and pack that right here in the outer corner. I think that's good. Okay, so now I just need a flat brush. I seriously have so many brushes to wash. It's on my list of things to do um, before my husband comes back. It's just been crazy. I've been trying to like clean and like, I'm so sore. <laughs> ah, the struggles. Okay. I think this brush is clean now. This is a ColourPop brush, and it is one of their E4 brushes. It's like a pretty big pack-on brush. So I'm going into that beautiful pink shade, and I want to see how oh, I want to see how opaque it is before I wet it. I'm always curious to see how well these shades build up. Oh my goodness, I love that color so much. The pairing of these two shades is wonderful okay it's not really building up that bright so I'm just gonna um, tap my brush in and then I'm gonna spray it with this herbivore rose water spray can you guys see that I feel like the pink is very close to the orange so it's not really popping like I thought it was going to maybe it'll turn out more subtle than I thought <laughs> Oh, I know, I can reach, I do have an out, I can reach into my JD Glow shadows, haha. -ha. Ooh, I love 
love that. Oh my. This is like the perfect situation right now for such a crummy day outside. Like it snowed and listen, like I'm spoiled, okay? I'm realizing how spoiled I am because Rail usually does all of our snow removal all by himself. He doesn't bother me about anything. He leaves me alone. He lets me film YouTube videos while I'm, um, while he's outside slaving away. And now that he's gone for a couple of um, days, I have to do it. And I'm like, <laughs> I don't even know how to turn a snowblower on, okay? Let me tell you, it's been a struggle. So many beautiful shades. I think, hmm, I think I'm going to go into this purple shade. What is this called? All of these colors are freaking stunning. This is insane. I think that would pair well with pink. Oh, cute. Give me all the purple. All the purple. Oh yeah. <gasps> I love it. Can you guys see that? This duochrome goodness. I feel like I haven't done like such a bright eye color in a hot second. I feel like I've been so grungy lately. <laughs> I've also been thinking about filming that like 10 makeup palettes I would keep and I'm like, I don't really care to keep like neutral palettes. So I'm like, what the heck am I gonna film about? It's just gonna be like a mishmash of random colored like eyeshadow palettes. I'm like, are people gonna like watch that? like? You guys should let me know if you think you would watch that because I feel like I'm going to just mention random ass colors for reals. For realsies. Okay, I love that. So, now we have to do the face. Um, and then we'll do the rest of my eyes. Um, so, I got more products. They're sitting in my lap. I'm not going to let you guys see them. Um, so you have to keep watching this video to see what products I use on my face. Okay, I am back with a wet sponge. Is there anything? Okay, there's like two things I dread when I film is like forgetting to turn my mic on and then like sitting here and being like, fuck, I gotta get up and go wet my sponge. Like super annoying stuff. So Emily spotted this in my foundation drawer and she said she'd try to sample of it and so she said that I should use it because she really liked it and I had actually used this the other day it's such a dewy foundation I think it's best applied with a brush but Emily said that she was for sure gonna use her pop pal sponge from shop miss a if like you guys haven't heard me talk about this or any other youtubers talk about this I don't know how that's possible because these sponges are like under two dollars and sometimes you can get them on sale and now they have like a six pack that you can buy which I recently showed in a video like um, my November haul has the six pack in it and <laughs> I just talk about how wonderful these sponges are this foundation I like it I kind of feel like it's nicer in the summertime it has a weird consistency because I feel like I can definitely build it up to like a medium coverage. I didn't love it the last time I wore it, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So that looks pretty good. And then we both picked this concealer for each other to use. So this is the Too Faced Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer. I was using this nonstop a couple of months ago and I decided to give it a break. So I did put it away, but more than happy to be using this guy. I didn't love it when I first got it, but I recently pulled it out and started using it again and I really liked how it was under my eyes. It like sat really well and it wasn't like drying. And I did actually love the foundation when I first tried it. Um, and then I got through a bottle and then I repurchased it. And I, want, I repurchased it because I think they came out with more shades. But the only thing I didn't like about the original is I felt like it was really gray on me. Like I could never find the right undertone. 
And even when I tried a new shade, I felt like it looked gray on me. So I decided to return it because I didn't need like another foundation that made me look gray. So it was nice to at least get the concealer in the shade Warm Sand. And then my foundation in the Tarte is Tan Sand. So just go for like the sands <laughs> if you're tan. I'm just kidding guys, that was a joke. Okay, I really like how all of that looks. Now to set our faces, I got really excited because Emily had the Anastasia Beverly Hills powder in her repertoire of powders. Um, she said she doesn't love this, but she likes it. I guess I think this is fabulous. I don't know. Um, I love the packaging, first of all, because I love how huge it is because you can like get a big fluffy brush in here or a little brush or like a medium sized brush. And it just, I don't know, I really like it. It's not like cakey. Um, I like the shade. I have the shade Banana, I believe. And yeah, you get a ton of product. I've been, this is like my favorite thing that Anastasia came out with um, complexion wise because I didn't love her foundation. Um, I don't like the coverage on the foundation actually. Um, and I don't think I ever talked about that on my channel, but just so you guys know. And then if you guys watch, Emily at all. You know she loves these cover effects um, blushes and then I had the bronzer so she said um, well I told her I could use the bronzer. I don't love this bronzer. I don't know. I feel like this is like too cold tone for me. I think I fluffed up and bought the wrong shade. I think I should have bought the lighter color. It looks more warm than this one um, but that's okay because this is about me swapping makeup bags with Emily not me just using the same products I always use on my face. So, I don't know, sometimes, you know, you can give something a third, fourth, 500th chance and it might end up working out. So, that is the bronzer we picked. And of course, you'll have to watch her video to see what color I picked for her. And then I also happen to have a blush from them, so I'm just gonna use the blush as well. And this is the shade Spice Cinnamon, which I was really shocked when I got Spice Cinnamon, because I was expecting a cinnamon color, and this is like, honestly, I feel like this is more of like a plum shade. Um, and I don't know, I really love peachy blushes, you guys know that. And then I just never got around to like returning it when I, got it in, so I'm kind of stuck with it. I've been toying with the idea of just like putting it on my Poshmark and selling it because I really don't like this color that much. I'm not really a plum person. Now I'm going into the shimmer side just because you guys know I'm a glowy blush whore, so trying to pack that on. Okay, yeah, I, I genuinely look like some kind of cherry blossom type creature. So next, we chose for highlight. She gave me two options. I have the Milani um, Strobe Light in Glowing 04 and the Amrizi. I think I'm gonna go with Amrizi because the Milani one might be a little too dark for me today. So I'm just gonna put the Amrizi on. This is amazing. I'm pretty sure I picked this one for Emily too because I like saw it in her drawer and I was like, well, I really like that highlighter and why not? You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> so, yeah. This is such a good highlighter. I wonder if ABH will bring it back. Everyone's like, ABH, stop making dumb shit and bring back this highlighter formula and colors. <laughs> like, yeah. You know what I was thinking the other day, too, is, like, everyone's freaking out about iridescent highlighters, and then I remembered, like, the Aurora Glow Kit or the Moonchild, one of those two, and I'm like... ABH did that forever ago, and I'm over here like trying to buy all the Cleonade shades and doing crazy shit like that. So I'm gonna do my brows off camera because we decided that's how we were gonna do that. And so I'm gonna do setting spray because we I picked she picked this for me, the all-nighter. She said she really likes it. I feel like I should do what Emily said and just put on more highlighter after I wet my face. Ooh, yeah. I feel like this highlighter is like one of those where you can't really ever put too much on because it's like so glowy and delicious, you know what I mean? 
And then for lips, she said Urban Decay's lipstick formula is her favorite. So I grabbed the only Urban Decay lipstick I have, which is called Epigram. And this is from the Basquiat collection. And I'm just gonna... Mm, I love this color. I'm also like a lip, like a liquid lipstick whore, so poor Emily. She didn't have a lot of options. <laughs> Because I like what I like and I don't have a lot of other stuff. Like I only, like lipsticks and stuff, I stick to the brands I really like. And they're always like a brown <laughs> or a nude. <laughs> so I really love this color. It's such a natural shade on me. I think that's it. Oh, let's throw some gloss on. She did pick my Pat McGrath gloss in Flesh Fantasy for me. So I'm going to throw some gloss on. I'm not done yet. Obviously. I gotta do my hair and my mascara and my under eyes. So let me do all of that and I will be right back to show you guys. Okay guys, so I got my brows on and then for eyeliner, we did select ColourPop for me. And so I'm going in with the shade Insomniac, which is from their like rainbow collection that they came out with. I thought this would pair so nicely with the hot pink shade I put on my eyelids. And these ones are so hit or miss, the neon ones. Some of them are really good, and then some of them are so drying. This one, I think, definitely does show up on my lash line. I don't like to use pencil liner on my lids. I only like to use pencil liner on my lower lash line. I don't know if other people do that as well, but that's, like, always been a thing for me. Like, I don't like to use... I don't know why I don't like to use pencil liner on my lids. I've seen my friends like do wings with pencil liner and I'm like, how do you do that? It's so like dry, you know what I mean? Okay, so let's have a little bit of fun with this lower lash line because I was gonna do pink, but now I'm like, girl, this green dough. Let's see how pigmented it is. And I'm gonna pack that on like a crazy person because colors don't show up on my skin tone. <laughs> 99 problems. I feel like I need a white base to make that show up. Can you guys see that? I'm like packing it on. Maybe I'll try the yellow too, see if that like brightens. Oh yes, queen. Okay, hopefully you guys can see that. A little more green. Okay, now I feel like I have green shadow down to my like right here. <laughs> and I want to add a little more JD Glow just to amp things up. This beautiful like green shade I think will pair really nicely. Oh yeah. I'm going to throw that in my inner corner as well. Just to amp. Just to amp things up just a little bit. This is how I like to do makeup. Like party on top, business down here, you know? Don't like to mix and match too many colors on my face. So I'm gonna do mascara, get my hair done, and I will come back and show you guys the final look. Okay guys, so here is the final look. I got a little lazy with my hair, so I just <laughs> clipped it back. I straightened like the first half and um, decided to move on with my life, but I hope you like this look. I tried to throw in some fun neon earrings to go with the colorful shadows, and yeah, this is how it all turned out. So very fun. It was fun to play with some things that I had never played with before that were sitting in my collection waiting for me to touch and play. And it was fun to go back and play with some things that don't get enough love, like the Urban Decay lipstick. It is such a fabulous color and it just does not get enough wear in my collection. So it was very fun. Such a fun collab. I would love to see some of you guys do this with your YouTube friends if you're a YouTube creator or maybe just do this for fun with some of your other friends that maybe you don't see all the time. It's kind of fun to see um, what everyone has in their makeup collection. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and don't forget to check out Emily. She is amazing. Leave her a comment. Tell her I sent you. Um, I think that would just make both of our days and it's always fun to see you guys supporting other creators or you know checking out people that I recommend and I think a lot of you would really appreciate Emily. She is such a sweetheart and and thank you Emily for collabing with me. Hope we can collab again soon. 
I hope you guys are having a wonderful holiday season and I will see you in my next video tomorrow. Bye guys!